So if you saw my video from a few days ago, you'll know that I got blight on the tomatoes in the polytunnel and also a little bit of blight on the potatoes outside. The potatoes, I'm not really worried about. They're just the Christmas potatoes. We've got stacks of potatoes, enough to easily to last us until May next year. So really, it's the focus is the tomatoes. Now, I'm also not that worried about tomatoes. I've been eating about 20 a day now for months and I'm pretty fed up with them. And I've also got loads and loads of preserves. So I can afford to take a little bit of an, do a little bit of an experiment with the potatoes that are left in the polyton. So today I'll just tell you what I'm planning to do and then over the course of this video we'll see how the blight progresses and what happens to the potato, the tomatoes and how the different strategies compare. So it's a bit strange really to look at the polyton like this at this time of year. Normally it's absolutely lush with leaf growth but uh, there's plenty of tomatoes that I've left on. I've taken all the leaves that show any sign at all of blight and I've cut out any stem. Now there was no stem that had gone black. There was just one little bit of stem that had a little tiny bit of blight on the surface. So I just cut that part of the stem off. So I'm gonna see how everything progresses and I shall document it all stage by stage. So already I can say since I harvested everything yesterday that had any sign of ripening that a lot of these that had no leaves have started ripening since then. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take every tomato that shows any sign of ripening off here, take those home and ripen those at home. And then they're away from the blight and we'll get those processed as soon as they turn red. And I'm going to do the same with these. Now we don't need to eat these fresh because we've got about hundreds of fresh tomatoes that I picked yesterday. So we're also going to process all of the ripons down uh, to use as passata. And this, these orange ones are ripe as well. So there's a fairly decent harvest on here. So I'm going to get on and pick all of those. So there we go, there's not much colour left in here now. And so I've picked all of these Samazano that are just showing a little bit of colour. I think there's a good chance that those will ripen off. Those are all effectively ready. I just left them because I'd got so many uh, harvested yesterday. And those are the ones that just got a little bit of colour, but I'm fairly confident that those will ripen off. So, on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of these plants out now. And, yeah, I'll take the whole plant out. So I think I'll take these here and leave those there. And then these, I'm going to leave all of them in. And I'm going to see how the blight progresses on those. And there's plenty of tomatoes left on here. I've left a few with some signs of ripening because ideally I want to be eating these fresh over the next two weeks if they survive and ripen and taste okay. And there's the green ones. Now it's ethylene gas that ripens tomatoes and apples give off a lot of ethylene gas and there's a nice early apple tree on the allotment site it's in a community area and the apples are horrible but they do ripen nice and early so hopefully they are currently off gassing ethylene and will help ripen those up so it's been four days now since all the leaves got blight and the actual tomatoes are still looking pretty good and there's no sign of blight on the stems that I can see at first inspection. Quite a lot of the tomatoes at home actually have ripened that I took off and the ones that are left on the vine they're showing some signs of ripening so that is pretty good. So I'm pleased I didn't take these off at the moment. As I said, I've got loads ripening at home, doing pretty well. I'll show you those actually, just pop a picture up so you can see how they're doing. 
and we made a big batch of passata with the tomatoes that were ripe that I took off. So these tomatoes are looking okay. There's a little tiny bit of light on some of these leaves that are left over. I'll just take those leaves off. But so far, these tomatoes are looking fine. I've just tasted some of them. They're still nice and sweet. I've just harvested those. They're still looking okay. And these are okay. They're still ripening okay. I've tasted a few of those and they are okay as well. So that's the four day update. So I'm just back in the polytunnel on day six and there's a bit of blight there on that stem so I've cut that off there and I think that plant has pretty much had it probably if it's got it's on the stem so I've picked all of the tomatoes off there so those are the ones we've got from that plant these plants still seem to be okay no sign of anything on the stem they're ripening up still quite nicely and just this little bit here that might be blight I don't know it's a bit dark now so it could be anything Anyway, I'm going to leave those on. I'm just going to take, whoops, I was going to say, I'm just going to take those ripe ones. They just fell off. Um, so I'm definitely going to take those ripe ones. I'll take the ripe ones off all the plants. The ones at home actually are ripening up really nicely. So I'm quite pleased that I didn't dispose of them. Um, yeah, so they're looking pretty good at home. And there's a few of the cherry tomatoes over the other side where there's a little bit of light now on the stems so it does look as if i am going to lose these plants it's not i'm not that bothered about it as i've said before but i will just take these tomatoes off i'll just keep them the ones that uh, are on a stem where there's a little bit of surface blight i will just take those and keep them in a separate container there's a lot of ripe ones since the last time I was down here. So yeah, again, that's another really substantial harvest. And we won't be using these fresh now uh, for four days because we're going away for a bit. And so we'll see what they're like in four days time when we come back. Hopefully they'll all be nicely ripened up and uh, they'll probably won't get eaten fresh now i think these will probably get used in basatas and i assume when i get back in four days time that this tunnel is probably going to be ready to be all taken out i doubt whether there's going to be much more that's not really badly infected so it's now the eighth day after first discovering the blight and I am pleased that I took all the leaves off. I have still got some pretty good tomatoes. If you remember, I'd harvested everything that was ripe um, about three or four days ago. I've um, been away for those three or four days, and so we've come back and there's loads more ripe ones. There's a little bit of blight on here, but I've just tasted those and they taste absolutely fine. So I'm just going to harvest again everything that's uh, not showing any sign of blight, everything that's ripe. But there are a few things that I'm a bit more concerned about. So there is one tomato there that's showing a sign of blight. But again, loads more ripening up. And the ones that I took off have also ripened really well. There's a little patch there on the skin, uh, but those are ripening, so I'm going to take those. And yeah, so the ones that I took last time, so I think it was on day four, they ripened up really well. So I think we'll be making a batch of passata from those uh, maybe tomorrow or the day after. But generally speaking, I'm still getting plenty of yield off here. And uh, yeah, I'm still really happy to be getting such a good harvest even though you can see I mean 
I didn't take these leaves off just because I was speculating that they might have blight. I took all these leaves off because they all were showing signs of blight. So you can see that every single one of these plants had pretty bad blight on the leaves. And yet all these tomatoes have ripened off fine, uh, still tastes fine. And uh, really the blight hasn't spread to the stems. So I think that is why I've been lucky here is uh, only a few little spots on the stems like this actually had uh, infection. So I've also read that uh, when you get blight on the stems like this that the fruit is going to taste like horrible and again I've just tasted one of these super sweet no problem at all. So my experience is pretty positive in terms of my ability to still secure a good harvest a week later, just over a week later, after a really bad blight infection. So I think I'll draw this to a close. I probably will take these uh, plants out sometime next week um, and get the ground replanted with a temporary crop uh, that will see us through until the uh, salads go in here in mid-October. Fortunately, I do have a temporary crop. Always have spares.